morning, good evening, whatever time you're watching this video. Hi, I'm Dr. Russell Robinson coming to you again from the classroom. I hope you can see me better this time. Um, first of all, thank you again for all of the kind words that you have given me and my family during this time of crisis. I really appreciate that. Um, secondly, I want to go ahead and provide you with some quick class updates to let you know where we are with certain assignments that are coming due. First, you do realize that you have chapters four, five, and six. They are due this weekend. Chapters four, five, and six cover, if I'm not mistaken, and I have to double check, nonverbal communication. We also are looking at, if I'm not mistaken, yes, chapter five, dealing with, again, connecting with nonverbal communication. And last, of course, we're dealing with chapter six, connecting, listening, and thinking in the process, or in the communication process. Now, I also want you to do yourself a favor if you can. I want you to go take a look at chapter, I believe it's 10. Yes, chapter 10, looking at how to create, if I'm not mistaken, yes, presentation aids. I think it's important. As a matter of fact, it's so important that I've actually decided to break up our mini lectures, actually increase the mini lectures to quite a few pieces. First, uh, in our mini lecture one, we're actually going to be talking primarily about how to make your outline, your effective outline um, for your fitness demonstration. And yes, there's a reason why I have this on. I have on my trusty handy dandy Spartan Beast shirt that I earned. I actually did a Spartan Beast. I've done a Spartan uh, Sprint. I've done two Tough Mudders and I've done a Ninja Challenge. And I've done some other stuff as well. But to get in shape for that, I actually do a lot of weightlifting. And so what I'm going to do is walk you through how to make a presentation, which goes on to point number two and mini lecture number two. I'm actually going to show you how to make your PowerPoint presentation to what I'm looking for. And also, that's why I think it's a good idea to take a look at chapters 10, specifically, can't talk today, specifically so that you can be up to speed on why we use presentation aids and we don't read from PowerPoint presentations. Okay, so. What we're going to do is we're going to break this into small. Oh, again, I forgot deadlines. God, you so stupid. Okay, so the deadlines that we have that are coming up now, I've made some modifications to the deadlines. The first deadline that we have is dealing with chapters four, five, and six. The video journals for that they are due as of this Sunday at 5 p.m. You also notice that you had your outline and PowerPoint presentations for your demonstration speech due this Sunday. Because of the technical complexity of what it's looking for and what I'm requiring, I'm going to move that deadline up to the 9th of June, 5 p.m. And I'm also going to give you a couple of extra days, too, to get your uh, whole demonstration speech in. And you'll notice that we actually have some other bits and pieces there we'll go along the way. We will have a hangout tomorrow. Please be sure to let me know you're going to be there. And I'm looking forward to your feedback. Okay, so again, first up, you will have the demonstration speech outline. Second, we will then go into bits and pieces of how to make your PowerPoint presentation. All right, see you in a little bit. Bye.